Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with attributes tables in QGIS. You add a new field, reorganize tables, and select features on the map. Select features using the table, using expressions, create features using the field calculator, and then save these features as a new layer altogether. So let's start working. To open your attributes table, you can click on the icon here on your toolbar or right click on the layer and click open attribute table an attribute table shows you the features on the map each row on the attribute table gives you gives you the data for each feature on the map for example i'm working with a railway stations data for railway stations in nigeria so each row on this attribute table represents each station on the map. So there are many things we could do here. We could add a new field. To add a new field, toggle editing, toggle editing mode, and then <coughs> new field. We select the name. Let's call it special data. We select the data type. Is it integer? Is it decimal, text, JSON, date, time, object, or any other thing? And when you're done, click OK. A new field is added to the end of the attributes table. You can organize the attributes table. Okay, first you can sort your attribute table by name, ascending, descending, or numbers. For example, in this name column, let's expand this. In the name column, we have different names here. This is number one, starting with O. By clicking on the top of the column, it reorganizes it to add the null values first, and then in alphabetical order, in descending order by clicking on it again it reorganizes it in alphabetical but ascending order so that's for the sort column you can apply the same sort values for um figures to sort it according to highest lowest in ascending or descending order so you could reorganize your columns. Probably you don't need many of these columns for your analysis. And you need to compare just the number of columns. Right click and you see organized columns. It gives you a full list of all the columns available. And then you can easily unselect, uncheck any of them. You can choose to select all, deselect all, and select as many as you want. From here, you can also select features. You can also select features. When you select a feature on your map, on your attributes table, it gets selected on the map. This also brings us to docking. If you click on the dock attributes table, if you see my cursor is dock attributes table, it pegs your attributes table alongside your map and gives you an adjustable view. So when you select a feature on the attributes table, it gets selected on your map. And the same thing when you select to select features on the map, click the select feature button on your toolbar and you can select a feature. You can select number of features and then this gets selected on your map. You can also select by radius. Select by polygon, select by radius. Select by radius feature works in a way that when you click and drag every feature within that radius, as you can see on the top right here, it gives you the radius of. So all the features within that radius get selected. And then when you check them out on your attributes table, you can see them selected 
if you want to select all the features excluding these features then you can invert selection invert selection will select every other feature besides the selected features let's invert selection as you can see you can always track your selected features at the top of your attribute table that shows the total number of features on the attribute table and total number of selected features so let's continue to work with this so we undock to um select a feature using expression okay one thing you can always do when we are done is to deselect all features deselect select a feature using expression you can select you can easily click on the select features using expression button and it provides a field for you to write an expression a hypothetical situation here which we can work with is the gns dsg string column as you can see on the screen we have um, each station remember we're working with railway stations most are railway stations and some are populated places that the rail line that the rail the trains just stop and pick people so these are not railway stations so if we want to take that out we want to clean up our data sets removing these portions we can select if we go to fields and values remember the name of the column gns dsg code when you click on it double click for it to enter into the expression field gns dsg code equals to see the values in the in this in each column you click on the all unique and it shows you it's either null ppl or rstn fine so we want to remove where the value is ppl like populated places so equal to okay i already typed that equal to ppl double click on it and it enters of course this can also be typed directly but to be sure you're not making any errors you can do it this way and when you're done click on select features and it selects the features in the table see if there are more than just these three features you get to see them and then if you want to remove these features if you want to save these features as its own layer and perform analysis based on this based on this query then it's easy right click on the layer go to export save selected features as and select the data type the file type let's stick with s3 shape file and then the file name special data hub you can go on to set your coordinate reference system and every other details as poses and then add the save file to my ps click on ok and then the file gets added one more thing we can do we can perform analysis based on existing data to create new columns let's deselect all features to create new columns in our data set let's use the field calculator using the field calculator let's create a new field imagining that okay close this first hypothetical situation let's imagine that this osm id is probably a population population of each station and then this fid is probably the number of workers in each station so we want to calculate what is the rate what's the ratio of population to the workers in each station let's try out something so we go to our field calculator create a new field yes output field name let's call it population okay pop to workers okay underscore 
to underscore workers integer yes let's set it to decimal because we might have decimals in our value in our expression field you can go to fields and values rather than typing remember you're working with osm id click double click on it divided by our fid that is it so once you're done you click on ok and the table gets created population to workers so this is your value you can save your edits when you're done with everything and click on save edits and it saves all your edits to your new table thank you for watching and see you in the next video